So I'm not saying I'm brilliant, but look at this job that's already been done around the back door. I mean, come on. It's uh, pretty shit. Be interesting to see if there's any lining in there. Not lining, filler or anything. Now we'd only come out to do the windows and we got carried away with taking all this insulation out because it's really just not very pleasant and even though I've learnt since that you can use household insulation the reason they don't use it is actually because you can get those horrible fibres they come loose when you are driving potentially so this is why we took it out but it's also wet in places and we just wanted a decent base we wanted to sound deaden it and yeah this video kind of went a bit of a tangent but uh, follow along so we've actually ended up ripping all this out which we weren't intending to do but it, it's a real mess to be fair the it has got some sound deadening on it at the moment so you can see here it sound deadened i don't know if this was uh, as it came from the you know from the factory or if this had been done afterwards it's got some on the roof as well but we will add to that certainly any spaces because we've got a mass of it coming. I'll put some more in here, around here, across the floor. The floor's the big area that's been uninsulated really. In there, that's gonna come out. But yeah, it's a major, major, it's a major job. We still have to take this window out and to reseal this because this is a really bad a really bad job this is what I did which actually kind of worked really well now it looks really neat so yeah so we've bought uh, bought mine not not given or not received free this uh, Deden which is a dodo mat product <clears throat> and uh, yeah we'll see how we get on and of course there's some more cleaning. I use brake cleaner to clean off the last of the fiberglass and the residue of the contact adhesive that I think they must have used. clean as much as we can I and mean, we I can still see dirt but we could be here another week trying to clean this and we still wouldn't get away from it. Um, I think that the fiberglass insulation had been put in with uh, contact adhesive so that's why it was all kind of really grimy under there or maybe it's just some residue from when the band was new I don't know but it needed to go clean it's had 80% of a good clean and now we're going to put this first layer in. This is sound deadening, as well as I think some small amount of thermal insulation. So this is this is Dodo Mat deadened. We bought a kit off Dodo Mat, which is about 180 quid, I think, wasn't it? 180 quid. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. <clears throat> this is the first step, and the second step will be a, I think it's a six or seven mil sound dead and stroke um, thermal insulation which is a kind of closed cell foam. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm, I'm, it's handy having this here, this is factory insulation I think, factory sound deadening. So I'm going to go in between these in places and fill up the rest of these where there's space. So that's the first step because I really, I want to make this as good as possible really. And then we're going to add some more in here. I'm just going to go over these I think. We're going to do the arches and then I'm going to do the floor, or at least parts of the floor, even if we just get in here in sections. But we'll see how much we've got left. I still want to put a bit in the front too. So I'll need maybe a metre or two left for the front. But I'm just going to cut stretches or cut widths 
and stick them up there. So we'll see how we go. So what I'm doing, I'm peeling the first bit off so that I can stick the first bit and not stick the rest. Off of that in there. Get it lined up and then slowly peel it back and rub it on so that I don't stick or get any bubbles in it. The thing about this actually is that you get a good feeling putting it up there because you think, well, that's going on really nicely. So it must be good. I might actually get a roller at some point and just drop this on, but I think it's going on nicely. So let's speed this up a bit for you. It was actually a horrible kind of cold February night. It wasn't very pleasant, but we got it done. So I was just doing a little test, which is not scientific, but listen to this. Factory. To me, this is quieter than the factory stuff. Yes. I agree. And the factory stuff doesn't appear to do massively anyway. So. It was at about this point I realised I probably wouldn't have enough of the sound deadening material to do everything I wanted to do. So, the ceiling, or the roof of the van, is finished. Well, finished with the sound deadening anyway. Well, we're done for tonight. I've got to say, it helps so much when you've got somebody who's cutting it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. And um, so tomorrow we're going to start doing the, uh, the insulation, which is a... We've got four rolls of that, so we've got four times the amount, I think, than what we've got on this. Right, I think the second layer of insulation is now complete, or as complete as it'll be. So next thing is going to be the uh, the polyester fill. Now I've bought 50 mil because I'm a fool. Uh, I think 35 mil, which is what uh, Kiravans recommend, probably would have been maybe more suitable. I mean, 50 mil certainly I can do in the sides, but it's going to be the the headlining. That in fact, if you watch their video, they say, oh, we didn't put anything in the headline. I wanted to put something up there, but in reality, probably 25 mil at mostly up there. So we'll see how we get on. It'll probably be falling on me in 10 minutes. Also, while I'm here, I just want to take out all of these and maybe I can reuse them. Yeah, they ended up going in the bin because they really broke as I took them out. So finally, I'm going to start actually putting some insulation in this. I'm going to put do the, the walls first, and then we're going to do the uh, ceiling. I want to get the floor down as well, so I want to put some insulation under the floor and get the, the board back down, get it fixed. But I can't do that. I need to do some um, a little bit of priming to make sure that any like bare metal is sealed. So I'm just Jane's just gone to get the primer, so she'll be back shortly. So the process for this was cut the piece to size, spray some contact adhesive on both the panel and the foam insulation, 
let the solvent flash off and then push it in and then it's stuck really nicely. First bit, done. That was about I don't know, 10 minutes, some other. I've tried not to stuff it in too much in, in these areas here, because if you do just push it in and compact it, it doesn't really do anything. So I will put some up here and here, and now the other side. So just as I finish off the insulation, I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this sort of stuff, maybe you want to subscribe, but we don't exclusively do van conversions. This is just a general channel about the stuff we do. Some of it is about the van, some of it is about sea glass, and some of it is about just a general sort of vlog. But thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one, which is probably going to be the uh, lights and the fitting out. We forgot to actually record the lining itself, 